Hello everyone, welcome. The question today is, are you a good detective? Hmm, I've got my magnifying glass out today and I was going to see what I could learn by picking up some clues, being a good detective. I found this plant in my house and I discovered that it's going to have a blossom very soon. This is a magnifying sheet and that makes things even bigger. So I looked through my magnifying sheet to see all the different clues about the leaves and the buds on my plant. I did that too with this fuzzy little pen topper so that I could see how these things were made looking up closely to be a good detective. I found this pine cone and I was discovering how it was put together by looking very closely with my magnifying glass. Lots of times I like to use seek and find games. On this page, they want me to find some different items like the blue bunny or the yo-yo. I use my scanning finger when I do these. Your scanning finger comes in very handy when you're looking for something. And I just scan, 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 I'm looking for blue bunny, scanning finger, looking over here for blue bunny. Where is blue bunny? Scanning finger helps me trace back and forth to find where Blue Bunny is hiding. I see one bunny, but that's not Blue Bunny. Where is Blue Bunny? Hmm, I'm having difficulty. I need you to help me. How about a puppy? Scan, oh, here's the puppy right there. My scanning finger found it right away. These kinds of games are lots of fun. Oh, we're looking for bugs and different things in this picture. It's good to make your brain work to be a good detective. And you can find out lots of different things when you are a good detective. One of the games I like to play is hide and seek. I hide something special in the house and then my granddaughter has to look with her eyes and maybe her magnifying glass to find where I've hidden the secret treasure. I hope you can play some hide and seek games today and practice being a detective. This story hmm, needs your detective skills too. So put on your thinking cap, use your scanning finger, and maybe you might need your magnifying glass to see What's hidden in this story? It's a Tiger is written by David La Rochelle and it's illustrated by Jeremy Tankard. That's a tiger. Are you ready for a story? Me too. We'll start in the jungle where the tall trees grow and the monkeys swing from vine to vine. Wait a minute, that's not a monkey. That looks like a, ooh, what's this up here? It's a clue. A tiger, run! Oh dear, he was frightened by that tiger. Push aside these vines and we'll hide inside this cave. Duck your head, flap, 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 and watch out for bats. I don't know about you, but those shadows are making me nervous. In fact, one of those shadows looks like a tiger. How did he get in here? Hurry! Climb the ladder and we'll make our escape. Up, up, up we go. 
Ah, sunshine. Doesn't that feel good? Uh-oh. Snakes. Hundreds of them. <gasps> What's this? If we're very quiet, shh, we can tiptoe past. Tiptoe, tiptoe, tiptoe. Blue snakes, green snakes, even a great big fuzzy snake. That looks just like a tiger. Run! Oh my goodness. Yikes. He's gaining on us. Our only chance is to leap for that rope. Here's the rope. And swing across this canyon. Now let go. Whomp. We made it. Good thing we landed someplace soft. What's this? A bed of flowers? A pile of leaves? A giant orange and black pillow? No. We landed on top of the tiger. Now we're really in trouble. Quick, climb this rock and slide down the hill. Bumpity bump, 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 bump. Yes, a boat. Hop on deck and raise the anchor. Full steam ahead, Captain. Safe at last. Whew. Say, I've never seen a sea captain with a tail before, have you? Uh-oh. You don't think it could be a tiger? Not again. He was in disguise that time. Jump overboard or we end up as lunch. Swim, 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 splash, splash, splash. I know you're tired, but don't slow down. We're in luck. There's an island and a chest. Open the lid. I'll bet we'll find, could it be treasure? to eat us. Roar. Oh no. Wait a minute. He doesn't want to eat us. He was only yawning. If we scratch his ears and rub his belly, maybe he'll go to sleep. <laughs> Better yet, let's tell him a story. We'll start in the jungle where the tall trees grow and the monkeys swing from vine to vine. Wait a minute, that's not a monkey. It looks like, what's green? A crocodile! Oh, I hope he likes that story. That little boy knows how to make up great adventure stories. Maybe you could try to make up a great adventure story. I have one little finger play called Monkeys in the Tree. Here's two little monkeys. Two little monkeys swinging in the tree. They're teasing Mr. Alligator. You can't catch me. You can't catch me. But along comes Mr. Alligator quiet as can be and snaps that monkey right out of the tree. You try that at home. It's a fun finger play to do together. Okay, I hope you enjoyed listening to our story today. I'll see you tomorrow.